And now I'm the CEO and founder of Invitro. And now I'm the CTO of Kinetics. And now uh, I am in the lab building my prototype. I'm the CEO and co-founder at Denomines. I was doing some research in deep learning uh, in a university or in a startup. But then what I did was to get out of research and try to start my own company. I was a strategy consultant for a British firm. Before I joined EF, uh, I was doing my PhD. What I really wanted to do deep down is to take the science that is inside of the lab, to put it outside of the lab so, so the technology can reach a lot more people. I wanted to meet exceptional people, people that I would never have the opportunity to meet in some other places. With EF, you can meet like a few tens of people that all want to build the company, they want to do it right now, and you have a huge variety of profiles uh, that you can interact with and, and find the right person for you. Worst case scenario, that would be like uh, three months being paid to uh, meet a lot of amazing people. And best case scenario, it would be, uh, it would allow me to uh, create my own company. When I arrived, I was really wondering why, why I was at EF, because people are very, very impressive. It was quite international. While we are in Paris, you could see that EF made a lot of effort to go source candidates outside of France. I remember one candidate came all the way from New York. The quality of the people is outstanding, obviously. You have people with PhDs on very, very tough topics, people that are hugely knowledgeable about very specific domains. Microfounder. When you enter EF, you really uh, learn that uh, without business people, you, uh, engineers cannot do, cannot do anything in business. Without EF, it would have been hard to be exposed this fast to such an interesting network of investors. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Genomines, the biotechnology company that, that is leveraging the natural ability of plants to hyperaccumulate metals. I'm the CTO of Chipiron. We want to make medical imaging as simple as common blood sampling. I'm the CEO and founder of Invitro, a Paris-based startup that uses AI to tackle infertility. I'm the CTO of Kinetics, a company that allows uh, 3D animators to create 3D animation thanks to artificial intelligence. Learn to sell yourself, especially academics. When you're going to come to investors, you need to be a great storyteller. You need to sell your strengths. Choose a subject you're really passionate about and choose a co-founder you really want to work with. Don't hesitate to change co-founders if you feel um, they are not the right people for you. All that you need to learn, you will, you will learn it by doing it. So the best advice I would give is if you want to do it, do it right now.